Hello Gemini. This is Renee back with another reading. This is January 1st through the 15th. So we're going to get some oracle cards and then we're going to get some tarot. Okay. We have creation. Okay. Gemini, you you are creating something. And we have guilt on the bottom. Something these are feelings that you may not be aware of. But you may have some sort of guilty pleasure that maybe you're not noticing. Okay, we have tender embrace. Okay. So this may be a new love that's creating under your nose here, Gemini, and body and soul. So, yeah. Let's take a look at the tarot. So, yeah, you may be open to new love experiences. If you're single at the moment, um... Gemini, this may be new love coming in. This may be something that's being created over time. And a Spirit is also letting you know to take time out for yourself. Uh, make sure to nourish your body and your soul. Um, make sure to meditate. Stay grounded. Be positive during this time. They want you to stay positive. Okay, we have the Knight of we have the Hierophant, okay? Wow, we have the Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords. So we're beginning with the Knight and we're ending with the Knight. I'm going to take these two cards together because they came out together. So I'm going to count those as one. Okay, let's take a look. Justice. Okay, John. We have the Five of Cups. The King of Cups, <laughs> the Page of Cups, wow, and we have the Seven of Wands, okay, something that you don't expect at the bottom is the Chariot, so you are moving in some sort of direction here, um, I feel like you are taking action to change some sort of situation. That's how I'm feeling with this card. I feel like you're changing direction. Um, and it could be that the universe is redirecting you because of some sort of situation that you've been through. Because um, the, these cards aren't all that bad. Um, but I feel like there's a few obstacles and challenges here that may be redirecting you into another direction. This also could be you moving to a new destination. And I feel like if you if this is you moving, I feel like it's kind of been a long time coming. You've been waiting for this situation. This is something that's been delayed a few different times. That's how I'm feeling, Gemini. Okay, with the Knight of Wands and the Hierophants. And by the way, this is the first week. Uh, the Knight of Wands and the Hierophants. I feel like, you know, I feel like things, your plans are moving really fast. I feel like whatever it is that you're doing it's moving really quickly. It's feeling like the time is just flying. 
It's feel, it feels like you're in a fast motion. And it could be that these are just your expectations. Um, something that you're expecting is moving very fast. It's coming into, into view for you. You could also be very spiritual. And it could be the answers are coming very quickly for you. This could be you really connecting with your spirit, really um, connecting with your inner self, your inner feelings, your inner emotions, your inner guide, your tuition. Um, but I feel like whatever this is, it's, it's bringing a lot of details for you into view. Now, you have the Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like, you know, something that you are trying to manifest, something that you're bringing into your life is slow moving. Your thoughts are coming quickly, but the actions are moving slow. So whatever this is, it's, it's going to be a process. This is something that's not going to happen overnight. It's not your thoughts and ideas that you're creating are seem to be very good ideas. They're good thoughts. And I feel like, you know, it's going to take some time to bring whatever that is into fruition. Um, but I feel like you're very capable of doing that. So not not to bear too much on any doubts or insecurities about the situation just because it's moving slower than you expected. Your thoughts and ideas are there, but the actions are slower than you want it to be. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, I feel like, you know, if you want things to move faster, you may want to work with a team. You may want to ask for help. You may want to get some sort of guidance on your situation. Uh, this may be working with a team. This may be collaborating. If this is job or an idea, um, you may want to maybe ask a coworker for any ideas, anything that kind of push you further. But by the end of the first week in January, I feel like you're kind of running with your ideas. I feel like it's moving faster. So even though your ideas are there and your ideas are quickly moving your progress is slow but by the end of the week i feel like progress is starting to speed up it's starting to take momentum okay now by the second week by the second week i feel like Whatever this is, you are progressing into the situation. But I feel like you're still doubtful. I still feel like you're kind of worrying about what if, the what ifs. What if this doesn't work? What if that doesn't work? What if this person doesn't say this to me or what if that person doesn't call yeah I feel like you're kind of flowing with the what ifs you're you're creating more doubt in your situation the the thing is with the justice card is to have faith that the truth is going to come out that your truth is going to be acknowledged or rewarded in your situation so basically whatever you put out into the world is what you're going to come back what's going to come back to you if you put good karmic energy out then you'll receive good karmic energy back in that's typically um what the justice card is this is your karmic energy this is your balance this is your rewards coming in for your good effort um so i feel like 
with the justice card, I feel like there's no need for you to doubt. There's no need for you to worry because you're going to get exactly what you deserve. And whether that's good or bad, it, it's just something that you deserve because of something that you put out there. Whatever you put out, you're going to get back. So, yeah, I feel like there's no need to worry about these spilled cups. That's worrying about spilled milk, you know. There could be champagne in the back. You still have two full cups. So you haven't lost everything. Even if you do lose at something, you haven't lost everything. Still have hope in your situation. That's basically what that's saying. Still have hope. Now, Gemini, it looks like there may be someone new coming in. You may receive some sort of message. You may receive some sort of... Any initiation to some new beginning. This may be new love coming in because we do have the creation and the embrace, the tender embrace card. So this definitely, by the second week, this definitely may be someone new coming in to your situation. And I feel like this person is coming in and they're, they're communicating with you. They want to talk to you. They want to start this new beginning. This is a new beginning on passion, new beginning on love. This also may be new ideas. It also, for some of you, may be an apology. But with the Seven of Wands here, I feel like you're coming through as guarded. You're coming through as really building those walls around you for protection. So I'm wondering if this person that's coming into your life. I'm wondering if this person is going to be able to break down these walls that you've built up. Very interesting, Gemini. Okay, let's get some cards to clarify the, an outcome for this situation. So what messages do we have, Spirit, for Gemini, January 1st through the 15th? What cards do we have to clarify? The Hermit. So you definitely want some alone time in this situation. You want to kind of be buried in your thoughts. You're trying to gain some insight. To feel enlightened about a situation. I feel like you were really trying to find clarity. Hmm. What else do we have, spirits? The Two of Cups. Okay. So definitely, now you have the Tender Embrace, the King of Cups, the Page of Cups. You have the two of cups. So, I mean, this is definitely looking good for, for love, Gemini. If it's new love that you want, if you are single, if you're not single and you're already attached to someone, I feel like this is you just igniting, reigniting this love interest. This also may be you gaining the insight and the clarity from your higher self. Okay, yeah, you have the Ten of Swords. So you have completion in something. Something is done and over with. You have the Two of Pentacles. Well, whatever this is done and over with, it's bringing you some kind of choices, some kind of options. I feel like after this is over, your options are open. So this may be, 
I don't really want to say it, but for some of you, it may be that a love is ending. You also have the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever this is, you are, you're leaving a situation, but you're leaving it better than you started. Because, see, I'm really looking at this rainbow on the Two of Pentacles where you're feeling more balanced. And it goes into this Ten of Pentacles, which is a better situation than what you left. Very interesting. And you also have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom. So definitely, someone is giving you some sort of gift that's ending a situation in your life bringing more balance to you bringing more setting your priorities and then leaving you better off than you were before this could be money wealth this could be good health family But I'm feeling like your situation is progressing to a much better view. Towards the end of this reading. Let's see. Yeah, by the, by the end. By the middle of the month. Um. And we said January 1st through the 15th. So by the end of that, you're going to be in a better place. You're definitely going to be in a better place, Gemini. Much better than where you started. Okay, let's get some Moonology. Uh, what do we have for Gemini? January 1st through the 15th. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, you're going to have some kind of completion, some kind of conclusion to your situation. Definitely something is going to end for you that's going to, it's going to be a good ending. Definitely is going to leave you better than you started. Okay, Gemini, hold your vision. Fixed moon. So set your plans, set your intentions. And hold true to yourself. And we have a time to give rather than take. Okay, that's that Six of Pentacles energy that was at the bottom of the deck. And you have protection, Gemini. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Okay, so not only are you in a better situation, but you're also protected, Gemini. So whatever this is, you are protected. You and your loved ones are protected by the angelic spirits that are surrounding you. Okay, what manifestation cards do we have for Gemini? January 15th, excuse me, January 1st through the 15th. What is Gemini manifesting? Give me some manifestation cards for Gemini. Okay, first quarter moon in Cancer, push through any insecurities. So anything that you're insecure about, any of these uh, doubts and fears that you have with this Five of Cups, um, any of these heartbreak or doubts that you have with this Three of Swords, put those to rest. Put them to rest. They're, they're going to do your manifestations no good at all. Uh, you want to go in with a positive mind, a positive outlook, ground yourself, find your balance, and it will all work out. Last quarter moon in Gemini. Clear your mind. Exactly what I was just saying. Thank you, spirit. And new moon in Gemini. Lots of Gemini cards here. Good. Gemini is certainly showing up. New, new moon and Gemini, think it through. Yeah, so whatever plans that you have, think things through. And last corner moon in Cancer, take a breather. 
Okay, Gemini. Now, we're going to get a card from the universe. See what the universe wants to tell us to close out this reading. What do we have for Gemini for January 1st through the 15th? What do we have for Gemini? <laughs> the universe has your back. Yes, definitely. The universe wants you to succeed in whatever your heart desires. So the universe is letting you know it has your back. And I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself I am love and miracles are natural. Definitely. At the bottom, we have I surrender to a power greater than me. Yeah, so ask source for guidance, for power, for um, whatever it is that you need. And source is there for you, your angels, your spirits, whatever you believe in. Is there for you to guide you through. Okay, Gemini, this is this is a very good reading. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell, share, and um, Happy New Year to you, Gemini. Many blessings and love and light.